Hi everybody, thanks for joining us here on News Center Maine Plus and online. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton with a look at an evolving weather pattern which involves some more snow for us. First off, a little context as to where we stand this season so far. Well below average in Portland, about five inches of snow below average in Bangor and well below average up in the county. And a large reason for that is that much of the month of January, the jet stream was positioned far to our south. You may remember not only the record snow over the Gulf Coast and Southeast, but the really cold weather there too. Things have changed and it looks like over the next couple of weeks, the jet stream will be steered a bit farther north. And that also means there's going to be a bigger temperature contrast over the lower 48 with the coldest of the cold centered over the northern plains and up into Canada, but also quite a bit of warmth coming out of the south. And we will have kind of a parade of storms traveling around, around along this boundary over the next couple of weeks which means we have multiple chances for storms, not necessarily just snow. There could be some mixing or rain depending on their tracks, but it also means they will be a bit stronger and have a bit more moisture because they can tap the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic for moisture. Unlike the snow events we had much of January, which were just weak clipper systems coming down from the north, bringing us rounds of snow showers and periods of light snow. So cold air is in place for Wednesday. It's a sunny and cold day on Wednesday. And then the next system comes in from the west. It's not particularly strong, but it is going to come in with a round of snow Thursday afternoon into the early evening. And the timing of this is really problematic because the morning hours on Thursday will be dry. So people can get to work and school just fine. But getting home may be a bit of an issue. This is a look at the snow start times for Thursday over southern and western Maine over into New Hampshire between about 10 a.m. and noon. So it may be a case where you can get to work or school, but in the afternoon it's going to be tricky getting around. In central Maine, the snow starts between noon and 2 p.m., probably around 2 p.m. in Bangor, and then north and east of Bangor it'll be after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So in far northern and eastern Maine, kids may be able to get a whole day of school in with no issues while in central and southern Maine, early dismissals probably on the table and in some cases near the New Hampshire border. It may even be a bit dicey getting around by noontime. So for decision makers, this, the timing of this one presents a few challenges. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. Six o'clock Thursday morning. It's dry, but it's also cold. We'll have temperatures below zero in some cases, single digits on the coastline. Clouds increase Thursday morning and by 10 o'clock you can see the leading edge of the snow getting into southern New Hampshire. This moves into southern Maine by about noontime. I think the first flakes in Portland be sometime around noon and it will be snowing toward the New Hampshire border by noontime. I realize the timing can still change by an hour or so, which can be critical, but I think the general idea is the same here, that the snow overspreads central Maine between noon and 2 o'clock and then eastern Maine after that. And it'll snow at a pretty good rate for the afternoon hours. So the evening commute on Thursday will be quite snowy, potential for snowfall rates of about an inch per hour. And it will be quite cold, particularly inland. So this will have no problem accumulating from the start. Now it does make a fairly quick exit. I think that by six o'clock Thursday evening, the snow is ending in southern New Hampshire and on the seacoast. And probably between about six and eight o'clock, it's letting up over southwestern Maine. Still snowing, but not as steadily in central and eastern Maine at that point. And then the accumulating snow is pretty much done for everybody during the late evening. Could be a little drizzle or some flurries left over and then snow showers continue up into the mountains uh, Thursday night into very early on Friday morning. For most of us, we're looking at three to six inches of snow. There could be a few places that get up over six in western Maine, back into the lakes region of New Hampshire. And conversely, over northern Maine, there's just not as much moisture. So looking at one to three inches of snow there. And again, it's really the timing here that's the issue. Three to six inches of snow falling in about a six hour window means it will come down at a pretty good clip during those afternoon and early evening hours affecting the evening commute. Friday's weather will be fine. I think that We'll have plenty of time to clean this up too, given that the accumulating snow ends well before midnight. We'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine on Friday with temperatures in the 30s. We'll be a bit breezy Friday afternoon. Saturday is going to be a dry day as well, but it's an active weather pattern and our next system's already on the map. And this comes in for Saturday night into Sunday. And it looks a bit stronger 
and it, like it has a bit more moisture too than the Thursday storm, which means snow totals are likely to be a bit bigger out of this one. Likely moving into western Maine and New Hampshire around or before midnight Saturday night, and then the steadiest snow falling Sunday morning into the midday hours. It does look like this will move out during the afternoon, but there could be some lingering light snow and flurries even into the late afternoon or early evening. Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, a lot of people have plans, maybe going out to a friend's to watch the game. I think that by 5 or 6 o'clock, most of the accumulating snow is over, and we could be digging out from several inches from this storm. Here's a look at some of the computer models, just an early idea of what we could be looking at here. This is the European model, and everywhere shaded in this darker blue, potential for 6 inches or more of snow, and you see a few places highlighted for the potential at least for double digit amounts and you get the same story here from the American GFS model. Uh, good chance that many of us here pick up at least six inches of snow from this storm on Sunday. Being a ways out still too soon for specifics, but uh, I imagine either Wednesday night or Thursday morning we will be able to do that for you a bit more specifically. Main message here though, pretty sizable storm coming in for Saturday night and Sunday, and we haven't had many big storms this winter, particularly over central and southern Maine, so this could be the biggest storm we have seen so far. The active pattern continues beyond that. Monday will be a dry day, but it looks like another system will try to form somewhere near the east coast on Tuesday. Now, whether that goes out south of us or does hit us with some snow remains to be seen. And then next Thursday, there could be another system coming in from the west. So the main idea here is that our weather pattern is turning much more active, which means more chances for snow in the days ahead. So here's how we sum it up on the seven day forecast. It's a cold day on Wednesday uh, morning temperatures in the single digits, both below and above zero. And with the wind, it'll feel much colder than that. Afternoon highs in the teens to around 20. Thursday morning will be dry, but the afternoon will have a round of snow three to six inches for most could be a few isolated higher amounts. Friday and Saturday are dry and then the next round of snow moving in for Super Bowl Sunday with the potential for several inches. An early outlook on the timing is late Saturday night into Sunday afternoon and then winding down by Sunday evening. Monday would be dry and then we have another chance for a potential storm uh, either later Tuesday or possibly next Thursday of next week. So the pattern around here is turning much more active and we have you updated all day long right here. News Center Maine Plus you can stream our newscasts and find extended weather updates like this. And you can also go to our website, newcentermaine.com or our mobile app, and you can read our weather blog with all the details there. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton.